What was the breaking point, do you feel, for Karin? At what point was it just, just too much? What, what pushed her just to the final point? Et au début du COVID, le, le point de rupture, c'est, euh, il s'est fait au début du COVID, euh, quand que, elle n'a pas dormi et qu'elle a été obligée d'être hospitalisée. Le point de rupture, le, le point de rupture pour moi, il, il s'est fait là. I believe that it began at the beginning of, of ça a commencé au début, at the beginning of the beginning of COVID, um, she did, when she didn't sleep and then she had to be hospitalized. And uh, that's where I believe was the breaking point. And jean I, I read in one of the interviews, I believe that you gave, or maybe it was David, but I'm pretty sure it was you, that there was a concern when, the, during the second wave, when things were going to become so heavy and so busy during the ER, that there may not be enough equipment and ventilators for all the, the patients, that she was very concerned about that. Is that true? Yeah, exactly. Uh, at the beginning, like she, she watched what what are, what happened around the world, especially in Italy, and she was very worried for the doctor because she knew that for her it was very difficult to decide who can leave and who can need to to let them go if they don't have the the medical advice uh, in enough in in the emergency room. So uh, at the beginning, she was very scared that she need to do in that, especially if uh, people around her, her family, who are some older, uh, come, came to the hospital and, and she, she was there to decide that. So I think for doctors, it's, it's uh, very, like they're, they're in medicine to help people. They're not there to let people die. So I know that for a lot of doctors, they feel that they don't do they don't do enough during the right. day. They can do more. They feel ashamed that they they can let some tasks to other doctors. So they feel a lot of pressure to to save people. And actually, like when too many people came in the same moment, and you don't have enough uh, equipment, it's sure that uh, it's a big stress for a doctor. So, Karin, um, in my final question for for you is. You know, what can we do better? How can we go forward? What can we learn from this situation so that we don't have a another situ another tragedy like this? I think one of the main thing is that everyone, not just professional healthcare, but everyone know uh, the impact of stress on the body because stress is not uh, just mental health problem. It's very physical physical problem that when we, you, you have just too much stress inside of your body, like your body can work well. And sometimes the, the way the stress can be experimented, it's you feel anger, you feel that you can be more emotional, you can have insomnia. Uh, so it's not ju just suicidal idea. It's you can experiment stress before. And if you don't hack in the beginning to make sure that you reduce your stress, at some point you can do nothing. Right. Like the stress is too high and your body don't work well. And David, what change would you like to see happen so that this doesn't happen again? Uh, Qu'est-ce que je pourrais changer? Je pense pas que je pourrais changer grand chose dans, dans, dans tout ça. C'est sûr que je sais qu'on se dit toujours qu'on aurait pu faire plus, mais uh, je, je sens que j'en que, que, que j'en ai fait beaucoup, que toute sa famille en a fait beaucoup. Euh, je ne sais pas qu'est-ce que je pourrais changer, euh, honnêtement. Um, what I would like to change, well, I don't know if I can really do a change. We always, we, our whole family, we, her family actually worked a lot to try to do, make a change, but I'm not sure if I can do much, you know, on that. Thank you both for joining me. Uh, Again, I, my sincere condolences to you and the entire Dion family and to your family, uh, Monsieur Degla, and to your son. This has, been, this has been a lot for the country, and I'm really grateful that you have come to join us and you have done on many media outlets, and I appreciate that because I think the story needs to be told, and if we can prevent another tragedy like this from happening, I think your words have been excellent, and you've definitely shone an, an, a light onto problems that exist and that we should not forget. So thank you both very much for this. Thank you. Thank you.